Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, today I'm going to go over something I guess pretty similar to what I did about a couple of months ago. So I apologize up ahead for if this video seems to be somewhat redundant since I made a gear list video for tactical response uh, fighting pistol, but I kind of wanted to make one for fighting rifle as well. So uh, when I first started training, videos kind of like this definitely helped me. Um, obviously most schools that you go to they're going to have a gear list on the website but it was nice to also see what guys had kind of learned through taking different you know various private training classes so I figured I would kind of pass on the information hopefully it'll help a couple of you so uh, as the title states uh, I'm going to a fighting rifle class next week and I'm just starting to pack up, so I figured while I had this stuff out, I would show kind of what's going on into it. Now, I've taken this class before, uh, about two years ago, yeah, almost exactly two years ago to the month, and, you know, different, a lot of things can be changed and updated, and uh, curriculums tend to kind of evolve over time, but usually the gear list stays the same, and like I said before, there's definitely going to be some redundancy in this based on uh, the gear list video I did for fighting pistol with obviously some uh, major differences since it's a rifle class but either way here it goes figured I'd show you what I'm bringing and uh, kinda maybe what I've learned since uh, two years ago taking a first class so as I said before I've taken this class before and the last time I did I brought my Romanian uh, Wasser 1063 it did well but this time I want to take a, wanted to take a couple of different rifles. These are my newer rifles. Um, obviously the new one I just got, the uh, DDI AK-74. I'll be bringing that. But mostly I'll probably be running the uh, short barrel Draco since this is what I have more ammunition for. Uh, as far as uh, ammunition requirements concerns are concerned, the class calls for 1,500 rounds. And 200 of rifle, excuse me, and 250, I believe, uh, rounds for handgun. So, in here, I always tend to bring more stuff than I think I'm going to need, especially when it comes to ammo and stuff. And that's primarily part of the reason why I'm bringing uh, two two rifles, since one might go down, one might break, but also basically because of uh, ammo. <laughs> I only had one spam spam cam spam can of seven and six and that was all the 545 ammo i had plus a little bit extra and i think i'd already ran through 600 so probably the first day i'll go ahead and run the ak-74 burn up that ammo and we'll jump over here to the uh short barrel draco but since that's primarily the rifle i'm going to be, be running uh i'm bringing i think counting the mags that are loaded in the bag here i'm going to have i think 1300 rounds of 762 by 39 so, either way, that's good to go. And as far as, like I said before, the uh, AK-74 ammo, the 5.45, I'm only bringing about 600 rounds because that's all I have left. Um, also, you will be needing to bring a sidearm, so obviously I'll bring my concealed carry gun, the uh, P320. Uh, but this time, though, instead of my typical inside the waistband form of carry, I'm going to be using this... Uh, Green Force Tactical outside the waistband. I guess since if you have a rifle in your hand and you're wearing body armor and a chest rig, there's probably not too much reason to worry about concealment. So, plus from uh, from what I can tell and what I've been told, uh, outside the waistband holsters tend to be a little bit easier and work a little bit better. So, that is what the 320 is going to be running in. And again, I'm going to be bringing about. I think I packed, uh, counting what's in the uh, six backup mags, I believe it's 300 rounds of 9mm. And I'm also running the uh, Spear Lawman again, since it, you know, one of my preferred ammos, it does pretty well. Um, I forgot to put here on the table, but I'll go ahead and remind people, uh, definitely bring some rain gear. I've got one of the Frog Tog suits, the jacket and the pants, also a hat. Uh, training class starts this coming Monday, so I believe there's anywhere from 20 to a 60% chance of rain, rain either day. So, I'll, you know, either way I'll be prepared. If it doesn't rain, great, whatever. Um, so I guess, moving on, I've covered the rifle, or co cover, covered the firearms. Um, in this bag I keep all my magazines, I'll be taken down, and my actual chest rig. Um, this one I've had, I believe, for four, maybe five years. This is the U.S. Palm Attack Rec, I believe. And this one, I think this will be the third class I've taken it through. And 
the thing's done really well. It's held up. Uh, it's got your four pistol mag pouches over here, and obviously your you know preformed curved uh, four AK pouches. So yeah, again back to the 762, the Draco AK. I got those four magazines plus one in the gun and a couple extras. So that'll give me se uh, seven. Yeah, four, five, six, seven, right? So that's I'll use this. Obviously, it'll, it'll take you the five, four, five mags. And as far as the DDI AK74. I bring in a couple of those cheap magazines, and there's one in the gun, which is one of the Russian Tulas, and I will be taking this. So again, I'll have uh, six, seven, eight, I guess eight spare magazines, backup magazines for it. You definitely go through ammo a lot, so you want to bring probably as many magazines as you can handle. But I've been carrying it. This is like, I've been carrying it in this uh, SOE clothes bag, gym bag, and it's pretty much perfect uh, size for that. So moving on from that, a uh, typical range bag that I always bring to all classes and every time I go shooting, definitely I have my uh, blowout kit, ventilator operator kit, whatever you like to call it, all the first aid stuff in there. Uh, definitely got to have iPro, so I'm bringing my same standard two pairs of uh, ballistic iPro, uh, the Peltor electronic ear pro, and for a rifle class, it's definitely highly uh, suggested that you bring uh, at least knee pads and maybe also elbow pads. So I don't have any elbow pads, I don't find that I need them, but I was definitely happy uh, the first rifle class I ever took that I brought uh, knee pads. So I upgraded and got some little bit better ones. So definitely have those. Uh, rifles get hot, so I'll definitely be bringing my mechanics gloves I use for shooting. Um, I see I already mentioned, yeah, a hat and stuff. And I'll bring also in here is my uh, extra uh, P320 uh, magazines. So that's pretty much the covers the contents in here, except for I'm also going to bring tools. Uh, I usually keep a standard allotment of tools in here. Uh, mainly these are stuff you know to go with long gun. Of course, I have my front sight adjustment tools in here for all different kinds of guns, screwdrivers. Uh, this cheap. AR-15 armorer's wrench, that's for the buffer tube and that goes on the Draco. Um, just, you know, stuff that, stuff that I might need in an emergency. Also, can keep a pocket knife and stuff in there. But, I think that's pretty much the quick and dirty uh, lowdown of it. Like I said, um, I'm not going to include a lot of the stuff that, you know, is pretty much, uh, I guess, common sense. Like, you know, suntan and insect repellent, that kind of stuff. And obviously, you know, food and snacks, whatever. But that's just basically you know, the, the nit and gritty of uh, what you're going to need for, for down there. I think I, I don't think I've forgotten anything. And i got the guns, the ammo, magazines, all that good stuff, and the range bag essentials. So, um, again, apologize for the redundancy of this video compared to the pistol one, but since, you know, a lot of schools are the same and a lot of, they, they, they uh, share a lot of tendencies with their curriculum and with the stuff that you're going to be required to bring. So, whether or not you're training down in Camden like I am or, you know, a plethora of other schools, I think and hope that this will help somebody to get, get an idea on uh, what stuff they're going to need and what they need to bring down with them. So that's it, guys. Uh, I probably won't be making any videos, at least for a week. Uh, class starts this next coming Monday. I'm heading out Saturday morning, so I'll be gone five days down to Camden. And uh, so I'm going to have fun. So y'all be good, and I'll see you around.